Francois Tombalbaye, June 1918, 13th April 1975, also known as Ngarta Tombalbaye, was a Chadian politician who served as the first president of Chad from the country's independence in 1960 until his overthrow in 1975. Tombalbe was born on 15th of June 1918 in the village of Basada, in the southern region of the French colony of Chad, close to the city of Kumra. His father was a prominent trader and he was of the Sara ethnic group, the prominent ethnicity of Chad's five southern prefectures. He attended a primary school run by Protestant missionaries in Sar and secondary school in Brazzaville. As a young man, Tombal Bay studied to become an educator in the Republic of Congo's capital of Brazzaville due to the lack of in-country schools. A native of the south of the country, Tombal Bay began his career as a teacher during French colonial rule and joined the Chadian Progressive Party, PPT, in 1946. After serving in the colonial legislature in the 1950s, he succeeded Gabriel Lissette as the PPT's leader in 1959 and was appointed the country's first president upon gaining independence in 1960. In 1962, he declared the PPT the sole legal party and presided over a corrupt dictatorship characterized by extreme favoritism to his southern-based patronage network. In addition to his dictatorial rule, he also attempted an Africanization program that worsened the divide between the Muslim North and the Christian and Animist South. In 1965, Tax riots erupted into a civil war between his government and northern Frolinat rebels. During the war, his regime was supported by France, while Frolinat was supported by Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. In 1973, he founded a new party, the National Movement for the Cultural and Social Revolution, MNRCS, changed his name to Nagarta Tombalbaye, and attempted to further Africanize the country through a program of authenticity. As the civil war continued, and his support in the South dwindled, he was overthrown and assassinated by members of the Chadian military during the 1975 Chadian coup d'etat and replaced by Félix Maloum. Finally, on 13 April 1975, after some of the country's leading officers had been arrested for involvement in an alleged coup, he was reportedly shot in his own palace, succumbing to his gunshot wounds afterwards. His body was secretly buried in Faya.